Jolien, I'm going to pick your dream five-a-side team yeah. based on players you've played with in your career. Obviously, you won the league with City, played for England. Yeah. So it's not going to be easy. Yeah, no. Firstly, what formation are you going to go with? Well, I was going to pick myself and go for a, a 2 2 1, but being five-a-side, yeah, just I'm going to go for one defender. Yeah. Two midfield. It's got to be two midfield, then one striker. Okay. So one, two, one. Yeah. Okay. One, and one. are you going to pick yourself? No. Can't, I can't. I can't get in there now. Not if he's reduced the, the numbers. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't make yeah. that clear point. So first up, goalkeeper. Um, I'm probably going to go. I'm going to go a bit different with the whole team. To be fair. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go for the sheer size of him. Big Matt Murray. Okay. Yeah. Walls. Yeah. Um, great goalie. Obviously, unfortunate to have to retire early for injury, but. Um, the size of him alone should prevent most goals from going in the five side. He's so unlucky with injuries, wasn't he? A lot yeah, of players very. say how, how great he was, particularly he was. shot stopping and everything he, he else. Ridiculous. But do, do you think his injuries hampered how good he, he could have become? Oh, 100%. 100%. He would have represented England if he had um, played um, for longer. He would definitely have played in the Premier League. And um, it was a shame because obviously now it's documented that players, and well, especially goalkeepers, want to play it from the back. and. And Matty was probably as comfortable as most in terms of playing out. He probably was a, uh, and he admitted, um, more reluctant to go long. Was um, it? But in terms of playing out and passing, he, he had a good eye for a pass and, yeah, and he, he enjoyed it and felt comfortable doing it. Yeah, so it'd be cool. Matt Murray makes yeah. it cool as a keeper now, yeah. doing it, working as a pundit sky, of course. Yeah. Right, defence. Defence. You've got one uh, defender. Yeah, and this he's an absolute animal. Absolute <laughs> animal. Like one on one, probably the best uh, around during his time, especially at Man City, would be Michael Richards. Yeah, Michael <laughs> just, Richards? Yeah, just absolute machine. Um, when we used to do one-on-one -on -one sessions, no no striker or forward wanted to, to go against him. Um, obviously, Tussle, in terms of that, with, with Vincent as well, but Michael, just the sheer brut brutality of him. Now, this is a bit cool, because you've got the likes of Rio, JT with England. Yeah, I know. but they're, they're, company as yeah, well for I know. City. Um, but I'm just going for the absolute rawness of... Okay. I'm, we're going to expose him. He's going to be exposed <laughs> of the highest order. Okay. No one else is coming back, so... <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go for Michael Richards. Was Michael Richards, did he train as he played? Was he that intense yeah. in every training Yeah, session? as I said, it was him, Vinny, and uh, Nigel De Young when I first went there. It was like a big eye-opener to the, to the intensity they trained at and the, the commitment they showed in their tackles on their teammates. <laughs> <laughs> so he's your defender? Yeah. Ahead of, ahead of yourself as well? That was a Yeah, that was, that was an easy pick. As I said, I, was, I wasn't one to... Uh, when you go in this team, I wasn't one to be exposed. Okay. <laughs> You've mentioned his aggression a few times now. He's, yeah, he's, he's just very, you don't like, want to mess with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. You just didn't want to get near him, especially when it's like this as well, cold and that. You just, <laughs> yeah, just leave me alone. I, I remember once before, he injured me and he had the ball. And like, I had to miss a game. <laughs> Really? And I, I was like, how, how is that possible? How can you tackle me yeah. and you've got the ball? Like, I don't understand how you're doing that. And yeah, no, nah, a good friend, but in, in terms of one-on-one -on -one defending, there wasn't, there wasn't much better than him. Or there did, isn't. did he do loads of gym work? Because his, his no, body... He the, didn't, really? That's he's, the thing. He's an absolute machine, yeah, isn't naturally, he? he's, he's like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, we used to banter him like that. But because when we did take him in the gym, it was a little bit superficial, that frame. So, uh, really? Yeah, Ooh. he couldn't maintain the... Uh, <laughs> The press up routine that we used to do for as long as the rest of us, but no, in terms of like raw strength and because like we used to do um, like tests at the start of the season, yeah, uh, jump, bound, sprints, and all that, and they stopped testing him because he would just he could jump higher than everyone really? without wow. trying, he could run faster than everyone, so it was just one of them stages where why, what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is the point? Two midfielders now, yeah, Are you going um, for? again, a bit different. Um, I'm gonna go for Joe Cole. Yeah. Uh, and someone's very similar, um, Sami and Nazri. Sami and Nazri? Yeah, I, okay. like ridiculous talents, both of them. Um, Joe Cole grew up, obviously, before Instagram and Twitter was around. Um, growing up, everybody knew of Joe Cole. Really? Regardless of where you were in the country, you knew there was a player at West Ham called Joe Cole, and you just hoped to get to see him one day. And um, one of my first experiences in was the 21s, and we were playing like one, two touch uh, game. And he was taking people on. I just, I didn't know how you could take someone on yeah. when you're playing one touch football. So yeah, definitely Joe Cole and Sami Nazri again, um, an exceptional talent. Um, I think it was documented earlier this season before he left Man City that Pep said in training he's, he's one of the best at, at ball retention and yeah. I can second that. So going back to Joe Cole, you said everyone knew of him. As, yeah. as a young player, you think he was the biggest prospect in English football at that time? I, th I think so. I don't think there's been another one since, like, well, obviously Wayne Rooney, yeah. obviously, but Joe Cole was, like, ridiculous. He was doing stuff that 
you, you didn't see. And now that they're just obviously um, kind of a game and tricksters and yeah. there's guys that do that as for careers. Joe was doing that in games and training and stuff, so yeah, definitely Joe Cole would be in there. And in terms of technique, technically and skill, showboating, one of the best that you've ever seen, yeah. Joe Cole? Yeah, 100%. Again, his balance um, was, was ridiculous and he just, he could make top players, as you say, like the names of, of Rio and JT, they would be weary of him because they know he could exposure. And Sami Nasri. So when we were going through this in the office, we were we'd always try and predict the team that you're going to say. Yeah, no. You got Lampard. You got Gerald. Yeah. David Silva and players Amazing. like that. Amazing. David Silva well. could definitely get in there because again, one v one, taking people on, he can do that. Gerard Lampard, exceptional talents. Um, in eleven v eleven, they're getting in. Right. Like in, okay. a, in, a, in, okay. in a full size, but in, in terms of five a side, where people just want to come and get entertained and people want to be laughing at people doing tricks and getting taken out. I would, I would, I'd go for them too. With that said then, were you surprised that Sami Nasri left Man City sort of earlier than you thought he might have done? Um, if he's got that level of talent? Yeah and no. I would think he would have disappointed the, the amount of games, but no, Sam, knowing Sami, yeah, he, he wants to play. Right. Like any other professional, so, and he wasn't playing as much uh, as he would have liked, so he needed to go out and get games, but I'm sure if he was given the opportunity to play, he would have definitely performed at the level that was required. OK, striker. One striker. Who are you going for? This wasn't so hard to pick. It's got to be a Guerrero. Yeah, for yeah it's got to be you, goals. In terms of goals, he just, that's all he cares about in, in a right way. Um, Jermaine Defoe, similar. Um, yeah. And, and Yakubu. Um, them three strikers there yeah. are probably the three uh, most natural finishers I, I've worked with uh, for, uh, for what Sergio's done and for the length of time he's done it. And the level he's done it at, uh, he's got to pick Sergio. Do you think Sergio is the best all round striker currently in the Premier League? All round, probably not, but goal scorer, yeah. yeah. Um, and you don't, no disrespect to other strikers. For Man City, you don't have to be an all round striker. You have to be a goal scorer. Good point that, yeah. Um, in other teams, maybe you do. Um, could Sergio score the amount of goals he does for Man, Man City in, in other teams? Probably not, but for Man City, he's, he's the ideal man and there's, um, there's no one I would replace him within the world, to be honest. You must have a lot of five side games in training with Man City. Is he the kind of player that, as a, as a defender that, that you are, and he's a striker that you're hoping he's on um, your team and not on, no, not on the not, opposing team? No, team. I, I want him to be on the opposing team because he's not the greatest of trainers, to be fair. Really? Sergio. No. He, wow. um, um, in terms of um, effort, He's not the greatest. Obviously, you've given him a chance at a goal. Um, same with Carlos Tevez. Um, yeah. Wouldn't try as hard as he did in the games, but you knew come game time, you're giving them a chance or half a chance or any kind of what exposure to the back four, they was going to put pressure on them and, and, and make your team win. Do you think Aguero will be at City for the remainder of his career? I hope so. Um, I think the longer he's there, the more chance Man City have of winning back-to-back -back Premier Leagues, Champions League. So. I'm a massive fan uh, of Sergio Aguero, so hopefully he's there for the long haul. OK, you've got your five players. Who's your captain? Captain there, it's got to be Micah. Yeah? Yeah, he's got to be there. He, he's, he's aggression will uh, <laughs> demand, demand from the team. So, yeah, I've got to say Micah. Super sub. If one of them gets a little niggle or is not quite performing, oh, who do you bring on? Who's your one player you bring on in that team? And he's got to play anywhere. Good point, yeah, versus yeah, Tillerson. Yeah, he's got to play anywhere, so he's got to be a defender, really, hasn't he? Um, I'm going to back myself. Yeah, you put yourself yeah, in. Because I can defend, obviously, but I like myself as a striker, especially with, with them two. I can, they can use him as a wall. Yeah? Samir and uh, Joe Cole could just put him into me. I could pin, so you, pin you the defender. you could play where, wherever in that team, you I think? probably couldn't play in midfield as well. Right. I'd probably have to drop someone back if one of the <laughs> midfielders got in. Um, but in terms of up front, I can play up front or at the back. I'm confident, okay. yeah. Oh, I'm having that, it's good. Good team. Uh, manager, you've played under a lot of managers from many clubs. Yeah. Who's the one that stands out for you that you'd have to manage that team? Without a doubt, Glenn Huddle. Glenn Huddle? By far my best manager I've coached, or whatever you want to call them nowadays, um, I've worked with. Um, probably at the stage of my career, I, obviously I hadn't, I didn't know as much uh, as I did obviously later, but his, his knowledge of the game, he made me look at the game in a totally different way. Uh, Nearly drew me to tears one time. Um, really? That Why? Emotional. Just um, it was it was a result we had, and then something was said after, and it was just so like I just got so emotional about it, and I was just like, wow, I didn't think not about him, about I cared that much about the game kind of thing. So um, it's quite weird. But after that, we had a great relationship, um, and yeah, definitely someone that the game is is, is missing. 
It's amazing how quickly you answered that, because you've worked under so many yeah, good managers. Nah. On the outside looking in, I thought that would be something that nah. you'd take a long time to think about, but you, you said straight away Glenn Hoddle. I did, and, and, and we didn't speak about that question. No, I didn't even but, ask you yeah, about that beforehand. That, no, I, as I said, that is like, not even the hardest decision. There's harder decisions like your best striker or stuff yeah. like, in terms of manager, Glenn Hoddle. OK, 100%. what's his best asset then? You're talking man management, you're talking coaching. What made him the best manager you ever worked? I think it's coaching. Uh, man management for me, um, just going to be players that don't like him. So I'll get that, but in terms of my management for me, they're great. Um, again, developed me as a player, uh, as a person. That made me look at the game totally different. It made me look at my professionalism differently. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's, he's the way he looked at the game and, and looked at every individual position and tried to help them. Because uh, I was taking things from when he was saying to the fullbacks. Uh, I was looking at that and trying to take that into my game. I, he was, he's the only manager that has ever um, mm made me do finishing sessions on my own. Really? Because he said, you get in the, in the right position a lot of the times. He said, so you need to work on your finishing. And like, he's the only manager, like, he, and he was doing the crossing. And we'd yeah, come yeah. and he would just say, well, this is what we need to do. And it was, yeah. Julian, top team that. Thank you for your time, mate. Uh, what have they got to do now? Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the Soccer AM's YouTube channel. Exactly that.